Helping all people everywhere. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 125. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 125, August 16th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and videos. And if you'd like to receive more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our email newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, wrote the final 50% of the Planet Earth lesson plan behind the scenes. We then added this content to the website, bringing the written part of this lesson plan to 100% complete on the site. In addition, we wrote the first 50% of the content for the Quality and Quantity lesson plan behind the scenes as well. Additionally to this, we created the first 50% of the mind map for the Planet Earth lesson plan and added it to the web page, and you can see that mind map here. And we featured the outer space lesson plan across our social media channels using this image that Lucas from the graphic design intern team helped us create. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week's core team working on highest good food featured our open source asparagus hub across our social media channels using this image that we created. We also researched and added additional recipes to the open source achacha hub. You can see these here. More recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of the individual hubs in the future. Last but not least, we added three new delicious recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are quinoa breakfast, Greek salad in a jar, and field roasted sausage and lactate poppers. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team finished the final 35% of the open source camp setup specifics for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This included a final review of the document and adding FDA-approved service and food prep gloves, auger bits, rearranging the order of entities, adding tarps and sleeping pads, deleting a few items, and researching four different types of rope to determine the best choice for minimizing UV degradation. We're now 100% complete with this document behind the scenes. In addition, Sayonara, a member of the architecture and planning intern team, updated the 3D model of the shower dome in the Earthbag Village Pod 1 and the 3D model of a new roof for the cupola of Duplicle City Center. She also brought the floor plans of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 to about 90% completion. 
Civil Engineering intern Mateos finished the last 20% of the lead tutorial document, so it is now 100% complete behind the scenes. He also gathered all the questions related to our project that will help us understand how to achieve lead version 4 certification for each of the seven villages as we build them. Adolfo and George from, the, from our mechanical engineering intern team brought the design for the vermiculture bathrooms in the Earthbag Village to 100% complete and finished the report for their designs and calculations. Fernando and Amari, who are also both members of the mechanical engineering intern team, researched where to buy the materials they need so they can build a prototype of the shower heat exchanger. They also ran simulations on the heat exchanger using ABS pipes and the results were the same as they were with PVC pipes. Velma edited, reviewed, and changed the format of her tutorials on waterproofing and composting toilets. She also researched and contacted sellers and new air creep mixers for further information. Meanwhile, Samantha and Flavia, members of the architecture and planning intern team, worked on a process book and additional renders for the shipping container village pod 5. Additionally, Samantha wrote dialects tutorials and Flavia did the first draft of the recycled pallet bed frame for the units in the Duplical City Center and designed the interior layouts for the Cobb Village Pod 3. Akel and Diana, all also members of the architecture and planning intern team, researched case studies to plan the exterior areas for the Earthship Village Pod 6 and developed the layouts of its common areas. They rearranged the floor plan to add more toilets and fire escapes. Erica, Pedro, and Victor from the architecture and planning intern team improved their preliminary designs of the compressed earth block village pod 4 to include the best solar orientation during the winter solstice and began designing the village in Revit. They also updated the final lighting design reports for both Duke Will City Center and the Earthbag Village. Sarah, another member of the architecture and planning intern team, continued research for tree house, for the Treehouse Village Pod 7 and focused on finding sustainable, lightweight, high R-value insulation for the treehouse structures. Dice from the architecture and planning intern team, started developing the dimensions of the rooms for the Treehouse Village, and she also worked on the site plan and floor plans. Gabrielle finished new renders for the furniture inside the three dome clusters in the Earthbag Village, which included updating lighting and materials. He also created preliminary images for the Duplical City Center's pallet furniture. Juberto, from the graphic design intern team, started to create 3D models for the kitchen dome. This will be added to our website in a format that users can interact with, with abilities to zoom in and out and rotate the domes. And finally, Anna corrected some problems in the structure of the Ultimate Classrooms Projection Dome, making that a more sound structure and better suited to our needs. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team began updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was on the new elevator and stairwell placement and design, plus the new cupola roof design. We'd say we're about 10% complete with the 3D update. We also began working on the specifics of the rainwater catchment design for around the base of the domes. You can see this work here. In addition, civil engineering intern Hanata started the components list, cost analysis, and efficiency assessments for the windows and doors of Duplical City Center, including all the National Fenestration Rating Council values and the code requirements for egress windows. Mike created an online version of the project's control table and reviewed the architectural designs for the Shipping Container Village and the Earthship Village. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries and the structural intern team, Antonio, Gabriel, Beatriz, Fernando, Rodrigo, and Maelio, completed the analysis of the influence wind has on all the domes, completed analyzing the internal structures of the three domes, and finalized the sizing for the secondary beams for the cupola system. Jogo, Isadora, Zhao, Mateos, and Roberto from the hydraulics intern team added an additional 60% to the cold and potable water layout, bringing that to 80% complete. They then started the fire protection sprinkler system and brought the 2D image of it to 60% complete and the 3D image to 80% completion as well. They also completed the designs for the plumbing components according to LEED version 4 specifications. And finally, they linked all their individual work together into one final combined project. Last but not least, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, guided Fabio, Lucas de Souza, Lucas Tsui de Silva, 
Guerme, Enrique, Chago, and Israel of the electrical intern team in another round of improvements to the layout for the control panel that makes the electrical devices in Duval City Center automated, intelligent, and energy efficient. They also worked on aligning the electrical in the city center to commercial standards according to the 2014 National Electrical Code for U.S. requirements. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued the updating of our entire website to be mobile-friendly. This week's work included correcting the final 40-plus pages and formatting errors. This brings us to 95% complete with only 115 old blogs to be updated. Lucas from the Graphic Design Intern team created logo options based on the current One Community logo design, as you can see here. Manuela, also part of the Graphic Design Intern team, worked with Carolina, a service design student, on correcting transcripts and storyboards for the videos they are creating for the Treehouse Village. They also continued their work on the online presentation book for this village and added updates to the village's layouts and structures. Eduardo, another member of the Graphic Design Intern team, created a storyboard for the One Community promotional video. He also created collages, synced the audios, revised, and finished the portion of our weekly video blog update that reports the work of the interns. Graphic design intern Manases created text documents to explain the creation process for the online presentation he is creating for all seven of one community's villages. And Igor, Marco, Mateos, and Natalia of the software development intern team continued working on updates to the Highest Good Network application and database. These included programming the report pages, defining the requirements of the badge system, and completing the setup page. And last but not least, Gustavo, a mobile software developer, continued work on the One Community iPhone application, which includes bug fix fixes, finishing the QR scanner, and work on the comment feature, which will allow real-time communication between collaborators. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all because our goal is helping all people everywhere. We believe that a planet that works for everyone is not only possible, but it's possible within our generation. And our path to helping create that is by making sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it as attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own. To accomplish that, we are creating open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Highest good living that covers all aspects of sustainability, combining physical sustainability, which are the components of food, energy, and housing, with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we define as highest good education, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living models, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability to create a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. Our idea is if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that this idea and teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs purpose to teach others how to build teacher demonstration hubs too will spread on their own. We want to make a self-replicating model that creates additional self-replicating models. And through this idea of multiplication and multiplying models that people want to build because it provides more of what they want, we can affect every single living person and creature on this planet within our lifetime. This is our idea of helping all people everywhere. Now, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like a noble adventure, something you'd like to be a part of, there's lots of different ways to participate in our organization, to get involved as either a pioneer member, the people that will move to the property and build one community, or as a consultant or a partner, or as a satellite member, which are the people that participate in our weekly calls and behind the scenes activities, but don't plan to move to the property. Or, of course, you can share our information on social media because the more we get the, the information out, the more people know what it is that we're doing, the easier it is for us to accomplish our goals of enrolling enough people to reach that tipping point of participation where we can positively and permanently impact every single person on this planet. So that end, we are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Twitter, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on all the different social media networks, we're on Sue, all the different social media networks, another 15 I didn't name, to make it as easy as possible. 
All it takes is participation. Helping all people everywhere is just a process of getting enough people involved so there's enough of us doing the right thing, thinking with the consciousness for the highest good of all, participating so that we can impact everyone. And one community is here to create the tools, the tutorials, the resources, the path, the sustainable communities, the eco-villages, the teacher demonstration hubs to make that possible. And everyone's invited to participate in whatever way works best for them because we're open sourcing it so that it doesn't have to be just a complete teacher demonstration hub. It could also be all the individual components. It could be the education program. It could be the food systems. It could be the housing systems. It could be the sustainable energy systems. It could be each of the individual components of everything that we're creating is also open source to make it as easy for people to participate as possible and open source to make it as easy and adaptable as possible. We call this open source project launch blueprinting because we're not just open sourcing everything that we do. We're open sourcing it specifically and detailed enough so that people can take the information and spawn additional projects, additional ideas in different directions if they like to do it different, if they think they can do it better, if they have an evolution, a way to improve upon what it is that we're doing or different directions they like to take it. This is our open source goal, is to provide those foundations, those platforms, so those additional iterations can also be shared in open source, so we can build a global suite of options for people to take and adapt and continue to evolve and make it bigger and bigger and better. This is what we're up to. We invite you to participate. Everybody asks, well, what's the number one thing that one community needs? We still need to get the property off the market. We're an all-volunteer, nonprofit team. None of us are paid but we still need large scale funding to get that property off the market. There's no salaries here, but if we could get the property off the market, somebody would either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or invest in our nonprofit organization that would allow us to get the property off the market that we've worked with for four and a half years and would allow us to disclose the location, which would allow us to build our team even faster because people would know where they're living, we'd be able to share videos, and we'd be able to take our whole open source process to the next level, multiplying our output tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold, eventually 10,000 fold as we build the first completely sustainable city that will be open source and privately duplicable and replicable, individually duplicable and replicable as people bring together teams that would like to build the same thing, either as small communities and eco-villages or the complete city model, which is where we're going with this idea in the long term. So this is our idea of helping all people everywhere. This is what we're doing. This is how we're doing what we're doing. Bring together those people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that want to participate, that believe it's possible. And of course, you're invited to participate. So as always, thank you for the small donations, the $5, the $10, the $50 donations, $25 donations make a huge difference since none of us are paid. All of us are funding this on our own dime. And so having external funding, having people make donations helps us to cover our web fees and nonprofit fees and the things that we can't do internally that require us to pay for them. And as well, thank you for everybody that follows our progress. Thank you for sharing our information on social media. As always, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the details that I've talked about in this blog, you can get those on our written blog. And of course, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. So as I say at the end of every one of these blogs, we will, of course, until next week, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.